The region of Normandy in the northern France is a beautiful place that's been on my list of destinations to go to for a while. And so, for Easter holidays last year, we finally decided to pay the visit and drove all the way up there from southern Germany to see the two spots I wish to photograph the most. The white cliffs of Etretat and the famous island of Mont Saint-Michel. After a long drive, we finally arrived to Etretat, where our adventure was off to a rather awkward start. right here is officially the worst parking machine ever like there's loads of buttons and no instructions in any language than French and we've been staying here for five minutes now and we cannot figure out how to pay for parking so apparently that still doesn't work After our parking fiasco, we decided to explore the town a little bit. Etretat is famous for the white chalk cliffs that surround it from both sides, and the impressive natural arcs that these cliffs form. You can observe these marvelous rock formations from the town's white sand beach, or venture to the top of the cliffs on either side to get a view from above. We still had a couple hours of daylight left, so our plan was to do a bit of scouting before settling on the sunset spot for the evening. Actually, three locations that you can use for photography. One is on the hill to the east of the village, where I'm standing right now, next to the church on top of the hill. Uh, it's easy to get here, there's a parking lot, you can just drive up and you're right on the viewpoint. The, the second is there, there, right there on the beach below, so you can have a nice view of the rocks uh, from below. And the third uh, viewpoint is over there on those cliffs. Choosing the right location to shoot an Etretat is always a bit of a guessing game, as either one can produce a stunning image in the right conditions. Down on the beach, you can incorporate the waves into your image and shoot the arcs from a lower perspective giving them a menacing and towering look. The cliff to the east is where you will find a church that can serve as a foreground element or subject of your photo. Also from here you get a great panoramic view of the town down below and the famous natural arcs far in the distance. At sunrise, these will be beautifully lit by the rising sun, while at sunset, you can combine them with an epic sky for good composition. And then the cliffs to the west of town is where all the arcs are, so going there brings you the closest to them and allows you to incorporate them into the shot. Unfortunately, I only had one sunset in Etretat, so whatever I chose would become my only sunset image from here. So yeah, no pressure. Allow yourself time for exploration, allow yourself time to get used to a location, to get to know it. Because you really want to have enough time to visit all these locations, explore for yourself, see which works best for any given light you have, for any given tide that you have. And the last thing you really want to do is run, a, run around them from one location to another as a headless chicken trying to figure out what to shoot, which is a little bit what happened to me because we came here later than we were hoping for, um, so instead of having a full day here for exploring, we only got a few hours. To make things even worse, that evening we already had plans for dinner at exactly the sunset time, which meant that I couldn't stay for potentially the best light. I know, I know, but hey, when your photography trip is also your family trip, sometimes you just have to compromise. In the end, I settled on the cliffs to the west and luckily I was able to find a couple of appealing compositions during the golden hour, just before heading off to the restaurant. Given the lack of time, I think the images turned out pretty well, but judge for yourself.
It's a beautiful morning, the sun is just rising and I'm back here on the cliffs of Etretat. This particular morning I came here to the western part of town and I personally kind of prefer this location because it gives you the opportunity to shoot in both directions. From here you can actually shoot into the sun. This is a very famous viewpoint. It gives you this uh, view of the cliffs and a leading line of the beach going right to those cliffs. You have a rock and an arch as a subject of the photo and then you have a leading line. You have also the sunrise sun in the right part of the frame so it makes for a compelling photo in my opinion. But if for some reason there is clouds or the sun just didn't come out um, or the light isn't there, you can actually walk like maybe a hundred meters over to another viewpoint and you can shoot to the west um, especially after sunrise when the sun is up in the sky and highlighting the rocks so you can you have a bit of flexibility coming here whereas if you come to the uh, to the eastern part to the eastern cliffs where the church standing you can't really shoot into the sunrise there you can only shoot west hoping that the, either the sun highlights the rocks or there is a glow in the sky in the opposite direction than the sunrise. I guess one other important point worth mention, there is a path that goes along the shore right next to the cliffs on the beach below. There are actually very interesting photos from there that I've seen on the social media. But if you want to go there, be very careful and check the tight schedule beforehand. There are warnings all over the place because the water comes in quickly. I'm witnessing it right now. The beach is still there, you can still stand on that beach but you cannot go back anymore because the, the walkway between the, uh, the cliff and the arc is already submerged so check the tight schedule, be very careful, don't let that happen to you I would have loved to stay in Etretal longer, as I feel it has more to offer. But staying in one location for a few days is luxury I don't always have. And in this case, it was time to pack up and move to our next destination. The famous island castle of Mont Saint-Michel. But I'll tell you all about that part of the trip in the next video, so subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss it. For now, thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, put a like down below, leave me a comment or a question, and I will see you in the next one.